Maintaining a spirit of simplicity, Pope Francis began the first official day of his papacy Tuesday, attracting thousands to the inauguration. The Pope's message? Protection for the world's weakest and poorest. NBC's Vatican analyst explained it was that one should never confuse simplicity and humility with weakness. Francis wanted his installation to be a little less extravagant than his predecessors. Prior to the start of the sermon, the Pope toured St. Peter's Square in the uncovered Pope Mobile. At one point, he even stepped down to bless a disabled man. Francis also wore white robes compared to colored ones that would have set him apart. However, spiritual tradition was followed. He was given a lamb's wool shawl to represent his role as the good shepherd who tends responsibly to his flock. He also received a fisherman's ring symbolizing his role of spreading the gospel. Analysts say Francis's words and actions speak true of his character, foreshadowing what could be soon to come. His name Francis was chosen in honor of St. Francis of Assisi. This 13th century son of an aristocrat sacrificed a life of indulgence to live amongst the poor. The BBC reports the Pope told his fellow bishops in Argentina to not attend his installation in Rome. Instead, he wanted them to give the money they would have used to travel to the poor, something the BBC says is another sign of this Pope's consistency. The new Pope is a frugal man, a friend of the poor, in the long tradition of another icon of the Catholic Church, whose name he has borrowed, St. Francis of Assisi. As bishop, he was used to traveling around Buenos Aires on public transport and cooking for himself in a small apartment. Tuesday's inauguration marks the start of the 266th papacy. The BBC reports up to 200,000 people attended the Mass in St. Peter's Square. I'm Jim Flink for Newsy. Multiple sources, a broader view.